A really strong woman accepts the war she went through and is ennobled by her scars. Don't mind if I fall apart. There's more room in a broken heart. I had some dreams, they were clouds in my coffee. I've learned that nobody's perfect, and I don't expect myself to be perfect anymore. I haven't got time for the pain. The sound of birds stops the noise in my mind. I used the physical scar of my breast cancer operation, the scar that I have across my chest is a metaphor for all kinds of scars. You're so vain. I bet you think this song is about you. Anticipation is making me late, it's keeping me waiting. We change our opinions of ourselves so often. What the outside world thinks is only a small part of our image. We were enough with ourselves and our enormous little lives. I've always thought of myself as being a warrior. When you actually have a battle, it's better than when you don't know who to fight. You know, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1997 I realized I had spent too long arranging my attitude. It's like the mold in Dr. Flory's coat, about the discovery of penicillin. Out of these strange accidents come huge discoveries. A certain purple bleeds into red and all of a sudden you have something unexpected. As a singer I tried on all these hats, these voices, these clothes, and eventually out came me. We need role models who are going to break the mold. I just want to show off my scar proudly and not be afraid of it. I always think it's interesting to dig a little bit deeper every time you go to some place that seems like a revelation or a strong connection to an emotional truth. One of the things that has always motivated me to write is the desire to get it out and look at it in an objective way, so that it doesn't cause me any serious pain by staying inside. The advancements that women have made are very threatening to men in the job place. There haven't been that many women in politics. If you look at the conventions, it's kind of pathetic how many men are the heads of companies. On the other hand, I'm not sure what the reality should be. There's always that peculiar thing that rescues you, the thing that's so hard to name. If I were to locate and then identify all the hellish things we all have to go through in life in order to uncover one minute of happiness, it would take up a lot of space. You know when you take the paint off an old canvas and you discover that something's been painted underneath it. That's what I feel like, that part of the old is coming through the new. I try to get to those peculiar and particular things that you never think of to say. We are stardust, we are fallen and we've got to get back to the garden. Let all the dreamers wake the nation. Carly Elizabeth Simon, born June 25, 1943, is an American singer-songwriter, memorist, and children's author. She rose to fame in the 1970s with a string of hit records, her 13 top 40 U.S. hits include, Anticipation, No. 13, The Right Thing to Do, No. 17, Haven't Got Time for the Pain, No. 14, You Belong to Me, No. 6, Coming Around Again, Number 18, and her four gold certified singles, You're So Vain, No. 1, Mockingbird, Number 5, A Duet with James Taylor, Nobody Does It Better, 
Number 2 from the 1977 James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me and Jesse No. 11. She has authored two memoirs and five children's books. In 1963, Simon began performing with her sister Lucy Simon as the Simon Sisters. The duo released three albums, beginning with Meet the Simon Sisters, which featured the song, Winken, Blinken and Nod. Based on the poem by Eugene Field and put to music by Lucy, the song became a minor hit and reached number 73 on the Billboard Hot 100. After Lucy left the group, Carly found great success as a solo artist with her 1971 self-titled debut album, which won her the Grammy Award for Best New Artist and spawned her first top 10 single, That's the Way I've Always Heard It Should Be, No 10, which earned her a Grammy Award nomination for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Simon's second album, Anticipation, followed later that year and became an even greater success. It spawned the successful singles, Anticipation, and, Legend in Your Own Time, earned her another Grammy nomination, and became her first album to be certified gold by the RIAA. Simon achieved international fame with her third album, No Secrets 1972, which sat at number one on the Billboard 200 for five weeks and was certified platinum. The album spawned the worldwide hit, You're So Vain, which sat at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for three weeks, and earned Simon three Grammy nominations, including Record of the Year and Song of the Year. The second single, The Right Thing To Do, as well as its B-side, We Have No Secrets, were also successful. Her fourth album, Hotcakes 1974, soon followed and became an instant success. It reached number three on the Billboard 200, went gold within two weeks of release, and spawned the hit singles, Mockingbird, and, Haven't Got Time For The Pain. In 1975, Simon's fifth album, Playing Possum, and the compilation, The Best of Carly Simon. Both appeared, the former hit the top 10 on the Billboard 200 chart and spawned the hit single, Attitude Dancing, number 21 and the latter eventually went three times platinum, becoming Simon's best-selling release. In 1977, Simon recorded, Nobody Does It Better, as the theme song to the Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. And it became a worldwide hit. The song garnered her another Grammy nomination, and was the No. One adult contemporary hit of 1977. Retrospectively, it has been ranked one of the greatest Bond themes. Simon began recording more songs for films in the 1980s, including, Coming Around Again, for the film Heartburn 1986. The song became a major adult contemporary hit, and the Coming Around Again album appeared the following year, to further critical acclaim and commercial success. The album earned Simon another Grammy nomination, went platinum, and spawned three more top 10 adult contemporary hit singles, Give Me All Night, The Stuff That Dreams Are Made Of, and All I Want Is You. With her 1988 hit, Let the River Run, from the film Working Girl, Simon became the first artist to win a Grammy Award, an Academy Award, and a Golden Globe Award for a song composed and written, as well as performed, entirely by a single artist. One of the most popular of the confessional singer-songwriters who emerged in the early 1970s. Simon has 24 Billboard Hot 100 charting singles and 28 Billboard Adult Contemporary charting singles.
Among her various accolades, she has won two Grammy Awards from 14 nominations and was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame for You're So Vain in 2004. All Music called her one of the quintessential singer-songwriters of the 70s. She has a contralto vocal range and cited Odetta as a significant influence. Simon was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1994. She was honored with the Boston Music Awards Lifetime Achievement in 1995, and received a Berklee College of Music Honorary Doctor of Music degree in 1998. In 2005, Simon was nominated for a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but she has yet to claim her star. In 2012, she was honored with the Founders Award from the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers. In 2022, Simon was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.